It has been confirmed that an all-electric BYD pickup truck is coming out next year. Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to you, new subscribers. Welcome back to everyone else. Great to have you here on the channel. Pickup trucks are extremely popular in Canada, the US, and Australia. And actually, they're also pretty popular in Asia as well, believe it or not. But Australia, America, and Canada, yeah, those three markets are huge for pickup trucks. Now, the Australian distributor of BYD has confirmed that BYD will be bringing out an electric pickup truck to Western markets in 2023. Whether or not they'll actually import them to America, yeah, I mean, that'd sell really well, but obviously the key issue is the import duty, 25% on Chinese vehicles, which is very high. Canada, on the other hand, maybe. I'm not sure. In addition, I think they'll sell really well in Southeast Asia and the UK as well. So those markets will probably receive BYD electric pickups as well. Now, apparently this new pickup truck's gonna be unveiled to the market next year. So we're gonna see what it looks like, what the specs are, you know, how big the blade battery pack is next year. Luke Todd, chief executive of BYD distributor EV Direct, told Chasing Cars he has already seen this electric pickup truck in person during the durability testing phase of the 2023 BYD electric ute or electric pickup. So in other words, this vehicle's already being tested right now. Mr. Todd said he's aiming to have bring the fully electric ute pickup truck to Australia as part of an onslaught of eight vehicles EB Direct will launch locally by 2024. So that what does that mean? Well, that means that BYD are planning on having eight electric vehicles that they'll export to whatever countries want them, basically. If you're in a country and you own some sort of import business, well, put your hand up. I mean, who knows? Realistically, if you think about it, there's huge opportunities for these new markets to start selling electric cars. I mean, you could be a dealer of a current type of brand of vehicle, maybe Toyota, and you're thinking, what am I gonna do in the future when you know my customers wanna buy electric vehicles and we don't sell them? Well, get in contact with BYD. Now, I don't work for BYD, I make nothing from talking about them at all, but I do think it's worth letting you know your options over the next few years, and also what's happening in the market. Now, what do we know about BYD's new electric pickup? Well, not a lot of details have been confirmed so far, but we know it's gonna have a range of at least 450 kilometers in normal driving conditions. That's a pretty good range, I think. Now, it's not clear yet whether the figure takes into account having a load in the tray, probably doesn't, but obviously a heavy payload will reduce the range of any vehicle, whether that's a gas-powered vehicle or electric-powered vehicle. Now that said, the maximum range of liters in this growing segment include the F-150 Lightning, which claims a range of 483 kilometers when using the EPA testing standard. And also then you've got others like the Silverado, which is gonna have more than 600 kilometers of range. Apparently the Dodge pickup, Dodge electric pickup truck is coming to market, by the way, in 2024. Now apparently that's gonna have more than 800 kilometers of range in its top specification. And of course, Tesla's Cybertruck in its tri-motor variant with the biggest battery pack will have more than 800 kilometers of range as well. But of course, those are the top models, not the base models. And those will be very expensive. The idea here for BYD is to enter in the lower segment, the more affordable pickup truck market segment. So if that's what you're looking for, then this could be an option for you. Now, Mr. Todd noted that the blade battery experiences close to zero degradation after 1 million kilometers of testing. Now, although the funny thing is, when I interviewed BYD, they said their batteries here in Australia would have a 500,000 kilometer range. Now, they've since revised that to 160,000 kilometers. However, in China, batteries in BYD electric vehicles have an unlimited kilometer range of warranty. Insane, I don't know how they can offer that. Unlimited kilometers, that's um, it's hard to believe, to be honest. Anyway, models such as the Atto 3 small SUV, which by the way, I have pre-ordered, I'll put a link in the description to the video below of me pre-ordering that car, have capped their charging speeds at 80 kilowatt, as the Chinese conglomerate has previously promised 800 volt charging capability that it says could add 90 miles or 145 kilometers of range in only five minutes. We don't know when that's gonna happen though. 
That capability could make the BYD electric pickup better suited to the stop and go lifestyle of tradies and people who don't have a lot of time to charge. And that would obviously help eliminate range anxiety. So hopefully this new electric pickup truck does have the kind of charging features, the charging speed that really BYD are promising it will have. Now, it looks as though buyers will be able to choose between a more affordable short range model or a long range option for increased usability as we've seen with the Addo 3. So good chance that maybe a base model might come with say 350 kilometers of range and then the higher spec model might have something like 500 kilometers of range. That's what I would be predicting. Now, while the size of the pickup remains a mystery, it's a very, very high probability that it's gonna be the same size as the Ford Ranger, Volkswagen, Amarok, Mitsubishi Triton, you know, all those vehicles in that size car. Obviously the Toyota Hilux is one of the most popular pickups worldwide. So is the Ford Ranger. And that's most likely the size of vehicle it's gonna be considering those are the utes, the pickup trucks that are currently on sale in Asia, in Southeast Asia, in Australia, in America as well. It's like a global sized pickup truck. They're a bit smaller than a F-150 or a Ram 1500. By the way though, American sized pickup trucks have become very popular in Australia lately and the market for them here is growing massively. Now, Mr. Todd said to Chasing Cars, that vehicle to load capability already found on several BYD vehicles will make life easier for tradespeople as the electric pickup truck or ute would act as a huge generator. So if you're on site, you don't have power, you can use your truck as a generator. This makes sense, right? Prime Minister Scott Morrison famously said that EVs will ruin the weekend. We think with vehicle to load, you can embrace the weekend, you can go out, have a picnic and take an electric barbecue. I agree, people are gonna look back in the future 10 years from now and think, what were we thinking saying that electric pickup trucks were a bad idea? I mean, they're way better. That's, that's what I think is going to happen anyway. Now, he says, he goes on, there are so many things that you can do. Traders can use power tools, charging things on site, running spotlights, etc. Vehicle to load technology is becoming increasingly common in commercial vehicles and has also been implemented in electric use such as the Ford F-150 Lightning and the Rivian R1T. So, there are actually other electric pickups on the way as well, in addition to this BYD electric pickup, which is awesome. Australian pickup truck buyers have historically flocked towards diesel powertrains to motivate their hardworking utes, pickup trucks. But as EV ownership doubles in Australia year on year, signs point to a growing adoption of electric powertrains in the coming years. There are currently no EV utes on sale in Australia, period. Australian-based company Ace announced last year it was taking orders for the small business targeted ute that would provide only 150 to 200 kilometers of range. Chinese car manufacturer LDV also revealed recently an electrified version of its T60 pickup truck. I'll put a link in the description below to that vehicle. It's currently on sale now. It has at least 270 kilometers of driving range and it's under consideration for the Australian car market. Now, interestingly, chasing cars last year actually saw a Rivian R1T being tested here in Australia. It was at Sydney Airport, and this hints at the possibility that Rivian are gonna sell them here. Rivian have even said they're planning on selling their pickup trucks worldwide. Now, this is not gonna happen anytime soon because they've got more than 80,000 pre-orders for their current truck, and they're making like, I don't know what it is, 100 of them a week. So it's gonna take decades at that space, at that rate of production. Obviously they're gonna ramp up production speeds over the next year or two, so that'll be really good news for global markets looking for the R1T. And to be honest, my dad's one of them, he wants one. He loves the Rivian R1T for good reason. It's an awesome pickup truck. Now Ford confirmed the new generation Ranger is being built with a plug-in hybrid. And it's also gonna bring the transit commercial van, which is electric, to Australia in 2022. Now, who knows which is gonna be the first electric pickup or ute here in Australia. I think it will more than like BYD, but that said, I could be wrong. Now, one interesting thing to consider is there was recent news reports saying Tesla are not planning to bring the Cybertruck here to Australia. However, considering they have more than 25,000 pre-orders from Australia, and Tesla is a pretty good market for Australian electric vehicles. I think there's a good chance it's coming here. In fact, I think it will. But hey, maybe I'm just being optimistic because I've got a pre-order in for a Cybertruck. That said, I still don't think they're gonna arrive until probably 2025. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the channel. Let me know in the description below if you consider an electric pickup truck 
Are you in the market for one? Would you consider buying one? And which one do you think will be here first? Have a great day. See you again. Bye-bye.